Lesson 2.3b, Writing an Equation Based on a Table. The relationship between two variables where one variable depends on the other can be represented in a table or by an equation. An equation expresses the dependent variable in terms of the independent variable. We show y in terms of x. When we have a real-world situation, we have some actual numbers that we're dealing with. When there's no real-world situation to consider and we're just solving equations, we usually say x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. The value of y depends on the value of x. We show y in terms of x. That means we show y as it's related to x. Equations that express y in terms of x show y on one side of the equal sign and x on the other side. Here's some examples. y could be equal to some number x plus 2. Or y could be equal to some number x minus 5. It could be equal to 4 times some number. It could also be equal to half of some number like half times x. It could also be 3 raised to the second power times x, so that would be 9 times x, wouldn't it? Could also be a decimal as 25 hundredths times x. These are all y in terms of x equations. Here it's telling us to use the tables to write equations that express y in terms of x. When we look at the tables, we see that when x is 0, y is 0, but then when x is 1, y is 3. Then when x is 2, y is 6. And when x is 3, y is 9. Do you notice a pattern here? We compare the values for x and y to find a pattern. It looks to me like the y is 3 times greater than the x values. y is equal to 3 times whatever x is. We have y is equal to 3x. And for this one, we can look at the x and y values and compare them and look for a pattern. x is 2 and y is 0. Well, x is greater than y. And here, it's greater than y. All the way in the table, it's greater than y. Here, we have a 4 for x and a 2 for y. Then a 6 for x and a 4 for y. It's always greater. The y values are always 2 less than the x values. So we could write an equation, y is equal to whatever x is minus 2. If we did 4 minus 2, we'd get 2. If we did 6 minus 2, we'd get 4. If we did 8 minus 2, we'd get 6. The equation is true. So we can check to see if our equations are correct by substituting each value of x into the equation. The equation is correct if the corresponding y value is the result. And the equation is true. Here we have another table. We can compare the values for x and y and find a pattern. x is 10, y is 5. Well, that's half of x, isn't it? 5 is half of 10. We have x is 20, and now y is 10. Again, that's half. We have a 30 and a 15. That's still half. And 40 and 20, that's still half. The y values are half of, or 5 tenths, times the x value. So we can say y is equal to half of x by writing half and then the x for half times x. We can also write a half as 0 0.5, can't we? So we can say y is equal to 5 tenths x. And we can also look at this as if we take the x value and divide it by 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 20 divided by 2 is 10, 30 divided by 2 is 15, and 40 divided by 2 is 20. We can say the y values are the x values divided by 2. 
For this table, we compare the values for x and y and find a pattern. We have whole numbers here, and here we have tenths. So the y values are less. The y values, if you look, are always the x values multiplied by 2 tenths. If we multiply 2 tenths times 2, we'll have 4 tenths. And if we multiply 2 tenths by 3, we'll have 6 tenths. And if we multiply it by 4, we'll have 8 tenths. y is equal to 2 tenths times x. And we've written equation from the table. Now we saw in this table that 1 half x is the same as x divided by 2. Let's talk about that a little bit more. We can say that y is equal to 1 fourth x is the same as y is equal to x divided by 4. We have this 1 fourth x. It means 1 fourth times x. And we know when we multiply a fraction to a whole number, whatever x's value is, that we can write x over 1. That means we have 1 fourth times x over 1. And when we multiply fractions, we go straight across. That means we have 1x, and we don't write that 1 coefficient for an x, do we? We just write the x. And we have 4 times 1, which is 4. We have x over 4, which is x divided by 4. For this table, we can say y is equal to 25 hundredths x, because that is 1 fourth, isn't it? We can say it's 1 fourth x, or we can say it's equal to x divided by 4. If we substitute the values in, we would have 4 divided by 4, which is equal to 1. We would have 8 divided by 4, which is equal to 2. 12 divided by 4, which is equal to 3. And 16 divided by 4, which is equal to 4. All of these equations fit this table. When we substitute the values for x and y, the equations are true. So now we've seen how we can write an equation, the y value, in terms of x. Well, we can write an equation to show the y value in terms of x or as the x value in terms of y with the same table. Here we have our x, y values. We can see the x values are greater than the y values if we compare them. And to write y in terms of x, we could say that y is 25 hundredths, which is 1 fourth x. At, we could say it's as the fraction, 1 fourth x. Or we've now learned that we can say it's x divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So these equations are y in terms of x. Well, we can write x in terms of y. We can put x on the left side of the equal sign here instead of the y and say that x is equal to 4 times y. x, this 4, is equal to 4 times 1. Yeah, that's true. x, this 8, is equal to 2 times 4, or 4 times 2. That's true. And x is equal to 4 times 3. That's 12. That's true. And 4 times 4. That's 16. That's true. So we can write an equation with y in terms of x, or we can flip it around and do x in terms of y. But look at the difference here. When we did y in terms of x, we were dealing with 1 fourth when we flipped it around to x in terms of y, now we had a whole number 4. That's because x is 4 times greater than y. Okay, I think I stretched your brain for this lesson as far as I possibly can. We're finished with the second part. We're going to move on to the last part, using tables and equations to solve problems. Hopefully, if you've been following all the lessons, a lot of this made sense to you or all of it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.